Hi guys, I'm Lori with While We Still Can, and Rocky's right over here. Today's Sunday, and it's kind of a blah, do nothing day. We have pretty much sat on our butts all day. <laughs> we went grocery shopping. Yeah, we did a little bit of grocery shopping. Walked but the dogs four times. Walked the dogs, that's about it. I got to get outside and clean all the windows again, because we had a horrible windstorm yesterday. So we wanted to update you on how the rig did with that windstorm. It started with some nasty looking clouds moving in from the east. And I said, you know, I think I'm gonna cover my motorcycle. So I went outside and covered it and came back in. And Rocky said, yeah, it looks kind of yucky. So I'm gonna go out and cover mine too. There's storms that happen here like all the time. And it rains in the afternoon. The, the mountains just bring it in. We did not close up the patio like idiots. Not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the wind is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And it got so bad that the patio doors were like, they were like being pushed in, like they were going to take off and leave, right? I thought the glass was going to blow out of it. So Rocky's back there, Rocky's back there holding the doors, and I'm like, we have junk on the patio that I wanted to bring in, but I couldn't, because it literally was, we're guessing, between 70 and 80 miles an hour. The rig is, like, moving, but not anything hugely significant. Mm -hmm. I'm overly paranoid about that kind of stuff. The dogs were scared to death, because it was really noisy. Um, it took a roof of a house of a building not too far from here and just peeled it like it looked like a sardine can like you had peeled it back that's how bad it was the tumbleweeds all the weeds blew into the pond that's right outside the back door and it looks like the pond is like a third smaller because there's so many tumbleweeds out there now in the water i've never seen anything like that in my life this, it had white caps on it yeah oh yeah how often does a tiny pond have white caps? <laughs> That's how bad it was. And the mountains, you couldn't see them because there was sand. It was like a sandstorm like you would see in, in uh, New Mexico or Arizona or something like that. So it was and bad. And it was pouring up there. Yeah, and it, and it was raining up there. So this went on, we're guessing, for 45 minutes, 45 minutes something like that. And I finally said, I, th I think we need to go out in the truck. And Rocky's like, no, we'll just stay here. In fact, please help me hold the doors because it was getting stronger and stronger. So I did. And then as soon as it, I was there for maybe 10 minutes or so. And it finally slowed down enough where we grabbed everything off the patio, just two chairs on the table and our motorcycle wheel docks, brought it all in and then and shut it up back there. Um, long story short, we want you guys to know, Nothing happened to the Brinkley, right? Did you go out and check everything? Everything looked fine? Everything's good. Yeah. So we are really thrilled that it stood up to that. That was really nasty. I can't imagine our other rig going through that. I'm not so sure it would have gone through that um, without some sort of damage. Usually when you go through windstorms like that, in campgrounds, you'll see stuff flying all over the place. In fact, there was one of the chairs that are out here that's made of the recycled wood, the plexi, not plexi, um, what do they call that stuff? Recycled plastic. Yeah, recycled plastic. That one of them was out in the middle of the road. So that's how strong the, the winds were. And then there was a little teardrop that made the mistake of leaving their canopy out in that that apparently got shredded so but everybody else really did good i think there wasn't I, we kind of looked around there was a few things that had blown around and were in the ponds and things but everything was facing into the wind yeah so would we have done anything different shut the back end earlier yeah but how would we have known that that strong of a wind was coming and that patio our last patio when it got windy less than that in Glacier National Park, the whole the back patio shredded. It pulled off. All yeah. the rivets busted. 
that was that screen that they had on the sides. Yeah. So we're glad that Brinkley uses the um, Rod. the rods instead of that, that cloth because the wind will go right through and it won't cause any damage. So long story short, we're so happy with our Brinkley yet. You guys, if you're thinking about getting one, you have any questions, let us know. We'd be more than happy to, to help you out. Um, other than that, we plan to go to Mount Evans, which is now called Mount oh, Big Sky, I think. They changed the name of it. We're going to go there on Tuesday. We'll take you with if we do that. There's a snowstorm that's supposed to happen. We'll see. <laughs> I have a pass to get in. You can't go all the way to the summit anymore because they closed that on Labor Day weekend, but you can still get up there. So we're going to do that. And then maybe some rock hounding tomorrow. And we'll take you with on that. So I hope you all are having a great weekend. I'm Lori with While We Still Can. Get out there and do it while you still can.